Hello everyone, welcome to my channel ASP.NET Core and today I am going to show you uh, how to uh, design uh, select list as a searchable select list. Uh, just take, uh, just to see the demo, how a select list uh, design as a searchable select list or you can say that a drop down list, how to uh, uh, put some uh, a text box inside your drop down list so that we can uh, we can search uh, any text which is existing in the drop down list so that thing you can do using the jquery and uh, you can do by using javascripts and angular also but uh, today i'm going to show you uh, using uh, jquery so that is the demo and uh, here we have a text box and you can type it uh, any text in the text box like the java programming so uh, pop up uh, the text uh, in the drop down list and pick uh, any uh, text uh, from the uh, given text in the drop down list so how to do this that is the simple thing you can do in your uh, asp.net core and asp.net mvc also only the three libraries is needed the first library is related to the css class that is the designing purpose of your drop down list and or you can say the select list and the two other thing is used for the jquery's libraries so only uh, that is the select uh, 2 at the rate 4.0.13 is the version of the css and you can download uh, or you can add into your project by using cdn so ajax.googleapis.com ajax lips jquery 1.8.3 jquery min.cs file and cdn.js deal uh, d layer dot net npm select that library you can use it to you uh, to do this uh, thing so id uh, just pick the select list id property that is the ddl customers and uh, any uh, id which is you given in the uh, select list and that select list is actually bind in the categories so categories is actually uh, uh, retrieved from the database table and uh, just put that uh, thing on your view bag object so uh, only three libraries needed and uh, you can bind the select list uh, to the view bag object and there is a no need in isp.net core await html dot render partial asynchronous for uh, there is a no role i think to do uh, and if you want to show that validation script partial then you can use it okay thank you very much